Hey guys, Scott here, and today I will finally satiate Smo. Smo, I'm going to use the Prelates Hev er, Heavy Inferno Crozier. And uh, this will serve as a good example for why Colossal Weapons are not super good in Souls games. Really, pretty much in any of them, they've never really been that good. Um, and it's because their damage does not match the incredible lack of speed that they have. Especially in this game, you can get, like, you know, a Knight Rider's Glaive to, um, I don't know, 750 AR with 60 strength, two-handed. Um, and it's got a 10 times better moveset. It's got a running poke. It does almost the same amount of poise damage. It's just infinitely better. And yet we have this thing that's 10 times as slow. Like, look at this R2. Look at it. Like, what? how are you supposed to ever hit anybody with that? Ever? In a million years? So, because I don't know how I'm ever going to actually legit be people, what I'm trying to do here is... Well, hopefully I'll be able to show you. That's it. That's all I'm trying to do. One jumping attack to kill people. This guy is way too, uh... Way too passive. You can't really do anything when people are this passive. He's just gonna wait. And, uh, I'll never be able to actually hit him. Try running R2, I guess. There we go. So, that's pretty much the only way I've been able to find to make Colossal Weapons huge, is to stack an immense amount of damage on them and just try to one-shot people. That's pretty much it. And it works sometimes, but I promise you this video will have the most deaths out of any narrated thought duels I've done uh, on my entire channel. I promise. Um, because as soon as we go against someone that, you know, just doesn't really make any basic mistakes, like him when he was swinging three times in a row, uh, it's, eh, it's, I'm not gonna really be able to do much. But, I'm still enjoying the meme of going for one-shot jump attacks. Now, if I do hit a jumping attack, that guy only had 1200 health for whatever the fuck reason. Um, but if I hit a jumping attack, a jumping R2 with this, it will probably one-shot whoever I hit. So that's the one saving grace we got going for this, but the moveset of this thing here, I'll show you after this. The moveset of this weapon is just not good. It is just not good at all. Golden Val. Oh no, I just realized my PlayStation's on and I'm controlling somehow both my... Yep, I'm pretty sure I just died on PlayStation. Oh, this is awkward. I'm controlling my PlayStation at the same time. It's so threatening when I just jump at people. Oh, it just straight up missed. It doesn't even have tracking. That's so sad. That damage wasn't correct. I guess I didn't have Rowan Lights Resolve on. That's pretty much impossible to only take a thousand damage from that. What? I just went past him too, Jesus. Yeah, I'm actually not sure why this guy's alive. He doesn't have Black Lane Protection, so... He just took an incalculably low amount of damage from that. That was very bizarre. Like, for example, the regular R1 just did 700 damage there. Um, but the the jumping attack with Royal Knight's Resolve did, like, a thousand? No. Definitely not. That's not correct. Um, let me turn off my PlayStation really quick. I, I didn't know you can control a console and a PC at the same time. That's so weird. Oh, I see. I'm just running into a wall. Okay, never mind. I should be fine there. Apparently, some sort of wolf attacked me and then died somehow. How did that even happen? That's incredible. Well, my character's locked running in place on PlayStation. Uh, I'm doing these on PC because I have backup saves. Anyway, yeah. So the moveset like these, you're never going to hit people with. Unless they trade with you, which is why poise is required for heavy weapons like this. Um, the R2 is just laughably slow. That's the regular R2. That's not even the charged R2. Um, but the jumping attacks are pretty fast. So I found the best way to get around the insanely slow attack speed of these things is a lot of jumping attacks. Which is why I actually have the Claw Talisman on too, to even further uh, buff the damage of these jumping attacks. Because that's basically all we got. Even the, like, the crouching attack is just like that. It's like this weird, that thing with zero range, so that doesn't work, despite it being kind of fast. It's just 
trading is really the only option you've got. And I'll just keep spam jumping at people. This is engaging. There you go. Oh, throwing lights resolve. Cancelled out. He would have been dead there. Unlucky. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to do a running R2 into another R2 because it boosts your hyper armor. And see if he tries to trade. Nope. Not enough for a jumping attack. Still cancels it. Damn, again he didn't die. I'm going to try the, the stupid crouching R1. Nah, even that's not fast enough. So at this point, I will never have this dude again without dying. It's just, this is an impossible fight to win. Unless he royally fucks up. There's pretty much no scenario in which I can hit him and he doesn't hit me. Now we could trade, but I mean, that doesn't matter. Because I have, I'm only one hit from death anyway. Now I could technically put on regen rings and turtle for 20 minutes until I regen enough, but that this fight like will pretty much never end without him out trading me. So the the best possible scenario there is we we kill each other. But a patient player against an, uh, a great weapon. I mean, there's a reason even the blessed or the blessed uh, the best players out of every Souls game in history, none of them ever bring colossal weapons to fights because. Or, you know, at least at tournaments, because you just, it doesn't matter how good or bad you are, you just can't, uh, you can't really do anything but just trade with people, and that's pretty much it. Where with a lot of weapons, you can pressure people, you can roll catch them, you can put them into scenarios where, um, you are in control of the fight. With big weapons like this, you pretty much are just at the mercy of them making a mistake and then trying to punish it. Um, and don't get me wrong, you will punish the shit out of it, you will absolutely destroy people if you punish it, but... It never feels good relying on other people to make mistakes. That's just, I don't know. That's, it, it's never a feel good weapon of the year for me when you have to rely on other people to make mistakes. But I mean, the one handed moveset is the same. Like it's just, there's nothing really to it other than just the jumping attacks. And baiting jumping attacks can work, um, but it just ends up being a fight where we just jump into each other over and over again. And it's just silly. Hey. Now bleed players are typically pretty aggressive. So this might be okay. And now he is lagging out of his fucking mind, so I'm probably just going to drop dead randomly now. I'm just going to do this, and hopefully he just dies. Please drop dead randomly. I'm going to spam roll. I don't want to explode. Oh. Okay. Oh. Internet's back? Internet's back. Okay, cool. Nope. It's gone again. A lot of people like this play games online, man. God, that doesn't even have any tracking. That's so sad. Oh, nice. He fainted in attack. Very cool. I'm so fucking terrified, dude. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna drop. He fainted another attack. Very nice. Okay, well, this is silly. Again! Why only a thousand damage? That doesn't make any sense! What? Oh, he's getting me from over there. This is. Oh, he just he just shit out some flies. That's nice. I'm getting hit by the flies when he's behind me. Okay, well. Obviously not gonna count that one because that guy was literally from the moon. Don't fucking bow like that was an actual fight, man. Yeah, it had to have been just as stupid for him. God, I don't know why people with that bad internet just even play games online. I know it's not me because I have fiber and I, I pretty much never lag, so I don't know. Like, if you're going to be that laggy to everybody, well, just it sucks. Like, it really sucks. But just please don't play online. You're just going to have everyone's experiences be fucking awful. So just please don't do that if you're that laggy. Um, but dude, again, that's so bizarre because w when I do Royal Knights Resolve with this, it has like 2000 AR and a jumping attack, a jumping R2 with the Claw Talisman with Flame Grant Me Strength is only doing a thousand damage when the R1 does 700 damage. That doesn't make any sense. It should be doing well over 2000 damage. I, I don't understand why this is not working. Like I was even testing it earlier and it was doing 2000 damage to jumping attack. Like I, I don't know if something is bugged or... Maybe he was so laggy that... Oh, well, I just lose by default. Black Lane Protection is going to make me hit for straight sword damage with this, so... I have such a defeatist attitude when I play with these things because I, I know I'm going to lose and it sucks. But, I mean, there's just nothing you can do. Like, I, I, I wanted to have at least one example of a... um of a video like because I, I i don't do videos on these on these weapon classes because it's just painful you just 
you have like no control over the actual fight, but S dude, okay, nothing about this is making sense. Why are my jumping attacks doing less? Oh, black lane protection. I'm stupid. Never mind. Never mind. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, I'll just keep doing this, I guess, until one of them connects. There we go. That was better. That's what it's supposed to do. So that was a 50% reduction with Black Flame Protection, too. I'm going to try something stupid. I'm going to do a running R2. And then do another R2. Because it has very high hyper armor. No, never mind. Doesn't even matter. GG. That's a cool Malekith, by the way. But man, th there's pretty much no, no way to make this weapon class anything but really bad. Um, other than just gimmicks like, you know, doing jumping attack one shots and stuff. But that damage made more sense. You see how, um, oh, something is happening. My controller's vibrating. Can, can, can something just kill me on PlayStation? Holy shit, my controller's been vibrating for like 10 minutes straight. Is there like a boar attacking me? What is happening? Oh, great. Now I'm invading. Dude, what is... I I'm literally, I'm, I'm turning on my... Here, display capture. What, what is happening here? Oh, I just died. What the fuck? Okay, God. I've been getting attacked by this guard. I Just to show you I'm not making this up. I've been getting attacked by this guard for like 14 minutes straight. God, he finally killed me. <laughs> oh, that was so annoying. I kept thinking I was like getting hit because my controller was vibrating. And I can't, uh, I can't turn this off right now because my controller is connected to my PC. And the wireless doesn't work if it's connected to PC, so. Oh my goodness. That was frustrating. I'm already frustrating having to use this, this shithole of a weapon. <laughs> Just let me get one jumping attack one shot, please. Um, but yeah, uh, I, like, do you notice how my jumping attack, uh, with Roaring Lights Resolve did about 1100 damage there? On a guy that had Black Flame Protection, which reduces physical damage by an absolute shit ton. Um, so why on that laggy guy did I do a Royal Lights Resolve jumping R2 for less damage than that when he had no buffs? Like, I don't understand if, if, it, if it's, like, bugged sometimes. Maybe my Rowan Knight Resolve ran out? Maybe? Maybe it ran out. Honestly, that guy was so laggy, maybe on his screen it ran out, like, 16 days ago. Or something like that. That's possible. Yeah, I, I feel myself complaining a lot, and it's because it's frustrating, because I can't really use any of my skills as a player to outplay people. There's no outspacing, there's no, like, out-anythinging people. You just can't really do much of these, and it sucks feeling powerless. But... Hopefully this will shut small up so I can never do another one of these big weapons again. Maybe we'll get one one shot. On someone that's just like asleep. I'm gonna jump in place. There we go. Finally. That's about this the only thing this build has going for it is just one-shotting people with a jump attack. That's pretty much all I got. Because, like, yeah, again, this is the R2. It's that slow. The follow-up R2 is even slower. Um, the rolling attack, it just goes into this again. The crouching attack is this zero-range impale on the ground. The running attack is okay, I guess. That's probably the fastest attack it has. Um, now, if you one-hand it, you can do the running crouching attack, which is kind of okay like that one's not too bad but you also lose the strength uh two hand bonus and so you're doing a lot less damage there so you're basically just hitting like you know uh, a great spear or a halberd but that attack comes out fast if you do a crouching attack both one hand but even two-handed then this you still have this slow ass attack so as funny as uh, you know what these weapons are probably a lot better for invasions where people are going to be a lot greedier and they have to worry about other things so if you're not the only issue or they're getting overconfident because there's a bunch of them, I can see this weapon actually doing a lot of work because then you can just jump, turn around, one-shot people, and that sounds funny as shit. But in a duel where people are just watching me do stuff, like, it's just... I don't know, man. I don't know how you're supposed to reliably hit people unless they fuck up. He's using my dragon build. Well, I mean, I say mine. He, I didn't invent anything, but he's literally identical to what I normally do. So we're going to try to trade with one of his uh, running R2s. With a jumping attack. That's my plan anyway. Wait for him to turn. Oh, you're dead. Oh, never mind. That was Grails. I thought he was going for the other one. 
I'm still going to jump attack at it every single time. Damn. Pretty much the only way I can punish that. Nah, even the next one I die. It's impossible to win now. Fuck it! Dude, it doesn't even have good tracking, too. Like, the saddest part about this jumping attack is you're, you're locked into turning, like, 30 degrees. So, I, I've traded, like, I've done a good jumping attack on, like, four people this video. And it still misses because it just, like, kind of goes behind them and you can't really turn it very much. I'll, uh, I'll show you once I get back in. So, once you do a jumping attack, that's pretty much all you can turn. Like, like that. So, you have, like, a cone of, like, here to here. And the... You just, can't, you just can't really turn more than that. Now, what you can try to do is do a jumping attack and delay the last second, and then you can kind of 180 it like that, but that's a lot slower, and the opponent has way more time to react if you do it at the end. Because if you do it at the start, it comes out much faster. Like, compare this jumping attack to me jumping and then delaying it. Like, it's almost half the speed. So, it's very, very difficult to hit people with that, but it does give you more control. But the only way to reliably trade with people is to just do regular actual... I mean, even if you free him it, you can't really, uh... You, you still can't really do anything. Because, like, say it's this Bloodstain and, like, I jump past him. I, I just can't... I can't turn that much. Whereas, like, with most other weapons, you can at least kind of make that turn. But everything about these is just like... Ugh. So, yeah, I, I would say these things definitely have a use in invasions, but they have no place in duels. Which is why uh, you never see them. Give me one more one-shot, though. Give me a juicy one-shot. He's got Flame Grant Me Strength, so he's probably going to want to trade, too, but now not anymore. Oh, I can't even poise through it. Maybe if I stack infinite poise with this, but the problem is this weighs more than, like, the entire continent of Africa. So. Oh, he didn't even die! Fuck it. 1,900 damage on a jumping attack is pretty funny, though. I'm going to try the crouching running attack. Nah, it's still too slow. God, that doesn't even have good tracking. Like, he his his roll timing was not good there. But it, di it didn't even, like, track to him. There we go. Oh, God. Yeah, this, this is just basically a gimmick build. It, don't get me wrong, it's pretty funny hitting a 2,000 damage jumping attack. It's very, very satisfying. But, uh, yeah, not something you bring in duels. Let's do one or two more because I can feel myself becoming angry at using these things. <laughs> or at using this thing. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, I just don't like weapons in which the main mechanic is relying on people to fuck up. I like weapons where I can take control of the fight. And I can uh, roll catch people and all that good shit. There's pretty much no roll catching with this. Like, once I hit them with that, the recovery, they're already three rolls back by then. It's really... The, it's You know what? It's not even the wind-up. It's the recovery. Like, I'm going to roll as soon as I possibly can after r r one Like, compare that to just, like, I don't know. Just, like... E just e even, like, a spear. Wait, dude. Am I running again in-game? How am I... How am I controller vibrating again? Whatever. Um, but like this. It's like the amount of distance, like the, the amount of time compared to how long it takes to recover when you swing this thing. Like, oh, it's so, it's so much longer. Yeah, my controller's vibrating again. I guess I'm somehow dying in Limgrave again. Oh, he has infinite poise, so. I'm just gonna fucking keep jumping. Fallbirds are a good example of a weapon uh, that just completely does everything that this does, but better. Does almost the same damage, and he's just going to pretty much wait for me to do something, and then I die. This is like where reactive play, like, he doesn't ever have to swing, ever. He just never has to swing. All he has to do is wait for me to swing, and then he just, he just wins every time. And even if he even if he fucks the timing up of the roll there, he gets so far away during this windup that it just doesn't matter. Like it, it just doesn't matter. Like even if he has bad roll timing, which he did there, he didn't time it properly, and it still didn't matter because it takes so long to do the attack. He can just see it and then just roll backwards again. What is happening? Am oh I fucking what? What is happening? 
What is killing me? How did I even get somewhere else? What? How am I moving on PS4? What is happening? Bro, how am I plugged into my computer and also play? What the fuck? Okay, let me do this. You know what? Let me just... There. Nope, now when I roll. Here. I'll do this. My god. Oh, this is such a tilting video. Holy shit. I'm just stopping this video now. Bear smoke. Never suggest a weapon ever again.